Hi, I'm Hannah Abbott, a team leader with Usborne Books and More, and I'm going to share some of our fall 2018 new releases, um, and these are going to be nonfiction. So we're going to start with nonfiction for the youngest readers. This is the big book of numbers, and this is a board book, and this is just a really neat way for kids that love numbers um, to be exposed to some, some different things. So one, a uh, unicorn has one horn, uh, we have one sun, earth, and moon. A hole in one, Cyclops has one eye, uh, you go to two and have a scissors has a has two blades, a clock has two hands. So just really cool, um, just information about each of the numbers and um, a guitar has, a ukulele has four strings, there are four phases of the moon, four seasons. Uh, so just really, really cool information about each number, one through twelve. And uh, on the last page, it's going to share just some unusual numbers, um, like there are 206 bones in an adult body, there's 60 seconds in a minute, there are 50 stars on the U.S. flag. So just a really cool way for kids to um, see numbers in a different way. We also have a bug hotel and a bird house and we have really been loving these. I love all the nature books that Usborne's coming out with. This is great for your young readers and even older ones. My older kids are enjoying these too but they're bored and the flaps are very sturdy but it goes through different kinds of birds and what the babies are called and um, where they live. So ducks and pigeons, woodpeckers, so just several different kinds of birds, owls. At the end, it tells you a way to make your yard bird friendly and things you can do. It's also kind of a little quiz um, for figuring out which bird lives in which one through the story so you can know if your kids are remembering the information that they're learning. So birdhouse and bug hotel, two great ones to have. In addition to our 199 series um, is birds, and I love these. These are perfect size for in the diaper bag or in the car, but my son absolutely loves these. These have been great vocabulary builders for him. We have on the farm, at the zoo, um, things that go. Um, what other ones do we have? There's a prehistoric dinosaur, so just lots of um, great ones for kids to learn new vocabulary and new creatures. Um, and um, just they just love to sit and pour over each page and pick out different things great um, to have in the car another addition to our peek inside this is peek inside a tree uh, we love our peek inside series because it's great for small hands um, there's a few flaps on every page but they're very sturdy there's cutouts and these are just a lot of um, great for the younger readers to start learning about um, new things like we have the zoo and the farm and the garden and nighttime this one is the in a tree so it starts out how um, a tree starts with the nuts and the seed and I love their flaps underneath flaps shows how it grows and then you know what takes rain and sun and the roots well this is just really cool I love that the pages are cut out and just lots of fun things for their little hands to do and to stay busy and learn so much this is one of Levi's favorite um, series is the peek inside Look inside is the next step up. There's more flaps on the page and a little more information. It's great. Um, even for little ones, you don't have to read all the flaps is what we do with Levi, but my older kids love these. But there are tons of flaps, little flaps and big flaps and tons. I love this one because it goes through the different stages of um, the seasons. Uh, so there goes the bugs and butterflies and uh, different places that animals live. I love this one because it's a flap. The shows in the den, and then you can see them in the winter. So just really re unique way to learn lots of things about the nature, about nature, and um, great for any of those outdoor kids that want to know more, or maybe your kid hasn't got to experience living outdoors too much or wildlife, and this is a great way for them to see lots of new things. This is another new one, Woodland Book, and I'm really loving this. this is a really thick book. Um, so it's we've got lots and lots of information. It's kind of a story, but it's filled with great um, information. So I love that the table of contents is very unique as it is kind of like a little map. It says you start here and it goes through um, what each page has. I just thought that was really neat. Um, but every page is beautiful, beautiful illustrations and there are lots of things um, for them to 
um, see and do and I love that it gives suggestions like smell the woods around you by standing still and taking some a deep breath in um, and it does that on every on several pages it tells them to do something so they're good to experience in the book and then they can go outside and experience it too and what to look for now this one says to um, take a branch and um, you can shake it off and see if you find any kind of bugs in it Anyway, lots and lots of great information about lots of different things in nature. So this one's a really great one. We just got, so we haven't had a chance to read it too much. States and capitals. If you've got a kid that loves um, the world, the globe, and maps, and um, just wants to learn more about the United States, this is a really cool one to have. It's in alphabetical order, and of course there's the whole map. It shares lots of really cool information. So it gives the state and its capital, the population, when it was um, entered in the Union, the flower, the mammal. And then this gives us a little cool little map with a key over here so you can find a number and read what that is about. So this has got all 50 states. Also in the back, it has these really cool um, things if you just want to see states and fl uh, state flowers and animals or you just want to see the state flags you can just go in the back and find those without having to go all through the book this is also an index if you're looking for something specific you can find it so this one is a really cool book that we're going to learn use a lot in our homeschool this year another really exciting one is the big book of comparisons and this is a huge book almost a hundred pages um, but it's filled with lots of different unusual ways to compare things um, and things you don't normally get to see side by side I love this one because it shows like the Eiffel Tower and the pyramid and lots of famous things and you can compare the sizes to each other um, just tons and tons of things different sports um, different uh, sports arenas and Let's see, ocean tides. I'm not. A, this is a huge book, so I'm not able to get it all on the screen. But this is just filled with so much really cool information, especially if you've got a fact lover or kids who just like to compare things. They are going to eat this book up. Of course, in the back there's an index, and you can find something specific that you're looking for. This is a really cool one starting to get into some activity books um, so you start with some of the youngest ones our magic paint are amazing amazing um, for rainy days or hot days or you got to get something done or the kids that love to paint and you don't want the mess that was me we these are so cool all you need is some water they take the brush and dip it in the water and the color is in the page so it comes right out so um, this will keep your kids busy for hours and they will enjoy making beautiful pictures. They came out with unicorns. We have dinosaurs and under the sea and um, Cinderella. We love the Cinderella and Rapunzel just came out. I think we have Snow Queen, but I love these because they have a story with them. So not only are they getting to paint the Cinderella story, they can read it with you and enjoy more um, about Cinderella. So these are great for um, those rainy or hot days. Next in our activities, we've got sticker books, unicorns, look how sparkly they are. This came out in the spring and we sold out of it and it's available again. This one um, just has huge empty pages that they can put the unicorns anywhere they like. The sticker dolly dressing one it has a little bit of a story and you get to dress the doll and the unicorn. Uh, so there's a specific page that goes with each one of the girls. So this is great for in backpacks. You can see it's small, great for in your purse for if you're stuck in a doctor's office. We also came out with a sticker book, Build Your Own Monsters, that my son is dying to get. So something for everyone in our sticker books. Never Get Bored also is a great one for the summer or if you know, you've got, you're going to have your kids are coming home after school and you're trying to get supper and you need them to stay busy. This is really cool because it's got lots of games in here they can play. Um, it's got lots of um, cool things that they can make themselves. Um, I saw like a telephone where you take a can and make a telephone. It's got you creating your own games and just lots of different things to keep the kids busy. 
and they don't have to follow up page for page. They can just go through and pick out whatever they like to do. Um, this is just a really cool way to get kids um, away from the TV and out of their phone. So never get bored book. No worries. We also have Be Happy. And this is going to be great if you've got kids that are dealing with bullying or anxiety or just a lot of stress and they don't know how to um, express themselves. This is a place for them to do that in a safe way. So it's, um, can you hear when you're at home and there's a lot going on around you, try and close your eyes and listen for a minute. Can you hear music talking? So they get to draw all the things they hear. Um, great memories. Write down or draw a happy memory in the box below. What about me? Ask a friend what they like best about you and write it down. The things that they say, um, things that they can color, empty your mind. I smell, I hear, I feel, I taste. So I've already had one mom tell me how wonderful this has been for her daughter. And they have. she came and got uh, the be happy um, because it was just such a great way for her daughter to get all those feelings out on paper and um, and feel like she's being heard. So this is great uh, for any of those kids that are struggling with those kinds of things. If you've got somebody that likes to journal, we came out with a nature journal and a travel journal, and these are really neat. they got lots of places to write things, um, but it's full filled with great nonfiction information, different things about clouds. There's a place for you to um, draw um, leaf prints, and um, this is a really cool, beautiful journal. Um, that your kids can write all about whatever they like or about nature. Also, we have a new addition to our Fold and Fly. This is Bugs. So there's tons of paper in here that they can pick their paper. They can pick whatever plane they're going to fly. Um, but we have dragons and uh, spaceships and birds and regular planes. Um, these are just so fun on those rainy days or hot days. And um, the kids will spend hours picking out their paper and folding lots of planes. But Levi begged and begged for the bugs because he's my bug lover. And last, I want to share, Usborne came out with puzzles. So we've got 30-piece puzzles, 100-piece puzzles, and 300-piece puzzles. And uh, each of them comes with a book. Some of the books, um, like our dinosaur one, has a picture puzzle book. If you're familiar with our picture puzzles, they're um, great for in the car. Uh, this one comes with a world map puzzle. So it does different parts of the world. In the back, there are all the flags. Uh, so I love, again, us born making something um, informational and educational and a fun activity. So 300 puzzle piece. So I hope you found something new um, to add um, that you might enjoy for your kids to keep them busy on these hot or rainy days. See you later.